this what you want, Hunter? Ms. Williams, sorry to tell you that you've been diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. Hunter, can you believe it? I'm going to die. Madison! Hunter, if one day I'm gone, will you miss me? What are you doing up here? Come on, Andre is sick again. Let's go. No. I can't give my blood to her anymore. Don't you understand? Too late. You signed a contract. Don't you remember? Why would he care? He's never loved me anyways. Madison, I've done my part. Now it's time for you to do yours. Let's go. Hurry up and start, now. Okay, Mr. Williams. Hunter, I'm not feeling well. Can you please just give me a minute? Well, you didn't exactly give me a minute when you forced me to marry you, right? So why don't you be quiet and let the nurse do her job? Madison, she was in a terrible car crash, and you are the only person I know that has Andrea's blood type. So, if you don't agree to this, she'll die. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Thank you. Hunter. Yeah. Do you have to marry me first? Okay. Do you hear me? Now sit down. Fine, Hunter. This is the price I have to pay. You're just gonna feel a slight pinch, okay? How are you feeling? Do you need me to stop? No, just keep going. Mr. Williams, I think your wife has anemia. We should stop. Hunter, I think I'm gonna pass out. No, it's okay. She's doing fine. Do we have enough blood yet? If only you could be half as caring to me. Oh my god. Madison. You're awake. Hunter will be back. He went to get me some food. Get out. Madison, I thought we were best friends. Mm, let me take a look. It must be awfully painful when they drain you from here. <coughs> you should have been dead. <coughs> hey, what the hell did you do to her? Hunter, she didn't mean to push me. No, no, I, I didn't push her. Look at what she did to me. She's lying. Madison, if you don't like me, I'll go. But please don't hurt yourself. Oh, shut up. You are such a liar. Do liar. not talk to her like that. You see, this is how you behave. Don't look at me like that. You knew I only married you for one reason. And it certainly wasn't for love. <laughs> Careful what you say next. Because if I hear one word of insult, I'm going to kill you. Bitch, now you know who's the third wheel between us. And now that you've fully recovered, I'll arrange for your discharge. Let's go. I see, Hunter. From the very start, our marriage has been a mistake.
I bought this on the way back from work. It should do for tomorrow. You knew I only married you for one reason, and it certainly wasn't for love. Hunter, before I die, can't you just show me a little bit of love? Must be Hunter. <laughs> of course, it's not him. What are you expecting? Hello, Vince. Madison, you promised to let me know the results from yesterday. It's good. There's nothing wrong. Everything's normal. Be honest. I can go check the system myself. It's cancer, Vince. Cancer? And they said that. I'm stage four, so... How is this possible? I mean, come tomorrow. I can schedule an appointment and we can get you re-examined. Vince, you're a doctor yourself. What are the chances of me getting misdiagnosed with cancer? You're gonna be fine. Just listen to your doctor, take your pills, and get treated. And you're young. Your survivor rate will be really high. I know I shouldn't say this, but leave him, Maddie. Four years of marriage? And look what he's done. I... Hunter, sorry, I forgot. It's dinner time. It's okay. Forget about dinner. You know what I want. <gasps> Hunter, stop, my stomach hurts. Let go, please, I'm Come in on. a lot of pain. <clears throat> oh. I said the pain is killing me. Your lies, they make me sick. I'm sorry. So you actually want it now? Imagine if you knew I'm dying, how funny would it be? What? Are you just acting sick again? Because I'm not taking you to that hospital anytime soon. If it wasn't for Andrea. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. <coughs> yeah. Hunter. Can you come home this weekend? Why? Don't tell me you miss me. 
Because last time I checked, you weren't too happy when I got in bed with you. Hunter, how long do you have to be on the phone? Hunter, um, can you come home this weekend? <laughs> Why? Don't tell me you miss me. Because I seem to remember you didn't exactly like me getting in your bed last night. I have something to tell you. Something you'd be very glad to hear, so. When can you come back? Hunter, how long do you have to be on the phone? I'm here for you, babe, okay? <coughs> <coughs> what was that? Hunter, if I told you I was dying, would you at least feel a little bit sorry for me? Okay, what type of game are you playing with me now, huh? Because if you're gonna kill yourself, you might as well just jump out of a window because I don't wanna clean up your mess. Why don't you call me back when you have something serious to talk about? Like, I don't know, there's a ghost in the bedroom or you have cancer, okay? Hunter, stop. Can't you see Madison misses you? Just go home. I'll be fine here. Shut up, Andrea. I'm speaking. With my husband. Hey, Madison, I'm not coming back to live with a psycho. Do you understand me? Hunter, I want a divorce. Okay. Hmm. Andre, I have to go, okay? But Hunter... I have to go, I'll be back. Must be that bitch again. Hunter, before I die, can't you just show me a little bit of love? Hunter! <laughs> Hunter, I give up. I wanted you to love me so bad, but now I realize it's been a mistake from the very start. I can't believe you actually did it. Mr. Williams, Miss Davis is having symptoms of anemia. She needs a blood transfusion right now. What? What are you waiting for? Take mine. <laughs> Since one of you started caring about me. Madison. Mr. Williams, your wife can't take a blood draw. We've literally just brought her back to life. It's okay. She can make it. Andrea, what happened? What? S slow down, don't worry. Yes, I'll be right there. Hunter, you'll regret it.
Mrs. Williams? Our profits this season have declined severely. If your husband keeps playing against us, we'll be bankrupt in a month. Thank you. You did a good job. You're welcome, Mrs. Williams. You know, it's funny, whenever I think about somebody to take over the business, first person that pops in my head is not my dad, not my brother. It's him. My so-called husband, who would do anything to put me out of business. Madison! Mr. Evans, wait! Get out of my way! I'm speaking to my daughter. Let him in! Oh, Maddie, dear, I missed you. Your old man is here to ask for your help. I need some money. Not much, just $1.5 in my bank account. What are you looking at? Is that the only reason you came here? For the money? What do you mean, just for the money? Like I'm some ungrateful jerk? I'm your father, for God's sakes. Without me, you would have rotted away in some gutter by now. Now, give me the money, or let me have the company. So you know you're my father, then? Thought you just took me for an ATM. I don't have time for this crap, Maddie. Now, let me have the money or I will tell everyone what a cold-hearted person you are. And trust me, you will not like that. But I just gave you a couple million last week. Did you spend it already? That's not your business. Anyways, trick or treat. Pick one. Okay. I can give you the money. Sure. But you've got to tell me what you're going to do with it. I have a really interesting project. And with one and a half million dollars, I will be the shareholder and enjoy an annual dividend. And if it works out, I won't come bothering you anymore. Okay. I'll have to review the paperwork. Do you have it with you? You little turd. Jesus, give me a break. Are you done? Now get the hell I'm out of my sorry. office. I'm sorry. I, I was really upset. Look, look, I gotta go. I will send you the documents to your secretary. <laughs> Mrs. Williams? I got an email from Mr. Evans. Uh, he said this is for you. Go ahead and transfer $1.5 million into his bank account. Yes. Dr. Collins wants to meet you. Uh, what's he doing here? Okay, what? send him in. You have got to be one of the most stubborn patients I have ever seen. Re-examination, chemotherapy, and hospital care? You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you must come with me to the hospital today. Vince, I don't- Come on, come on. Vince. Madison, look at yourself. When I first met you, you couldn't even handle a paper cut. You'd cry. How can you put yourself through cancer pain? I care about you more than anything in the world. I should have been braver and told you that. Vince, I appreciate everything you've done, really. But I'm terminal. Like this plant. I'm rotten from the roots. Fortunately, I won't be suffering long. No matter how many times I test, the results are going to be the same. You have to accept it, Vince, like I do. This is so not you, Madison. You would work hours on end for a project. You would do anything to win the heart back of a guy who doesn't even love you. But when it comes to your cancer treatment, you're saying it's not even worth a try. For four years. Have you ever spent even a second of it on yourself? It's not time to give up. Trust your doctor. Trust me. There's gotta be hope. Does 6% survival rate sound like hope to you? 
Vince, it's stage four that I'm at. I'd rather die in peace than go through all that chemo and radiation for nothing. Don't you understand? Painkillers on the left, cancer drugs on the right. At least take one of these, please. Take care. Was this what you saw when you were with me, Hunter? How could you not tell? Hunter, if you had any idea of the pain I'm suffering, how would you feel? For 16 years, I've been in love with you. What are you doing? Leave me alone. You know what I really want. Now, it's time to let go. Mrs. Williams, are you sure you want to leave your company to your husband? But this is your premarital property. He can't take ownership for anything, can he? That's why I need you to help me write the will. <laughs> so is he the reason why you want me to get a divorce? Hmm? What? Like he rides you better? Hunter Williams, what the hell are you talking about? What? Like he rides you better? Hunter Williams, what the hell are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the message that you sent me. Come back tomorrow. What? So you can hide this little gigolo somewhere around in the house? Hmm? Let go of me. You're hurting me. I don't like to be betrayed. You are mine and mine alone. No matter what I do, you stick by my side. And nobody will take you away Mr. from Williams, me. Mr. Williams, what are you doing? How long have you been seeing her, huh? I'd like to know. Mr. Williams, I'm a lawyer. I'm here to help with your divorce settlement. Mr. Williams, I suggest you and Mrs. Williams reach an agreement to the division of your assets before our next meeting. Okay? Sure. You want to stick around and help us out? I'd love to, but I have other clients. Excuse me. Yeah. Hunter, were you trying to kill me? Uh, why? Why would you want to divorce me? It's funny, I thought you always wanted to divorce me. I'm talking about you! I'm fed up with all the bullshit, okay? My patience has run out, and I don't want people taking my blood anytime Andrea needs it. Is that what you want to hear? Or perhaps like you think I've taken a lover. Perhaps it's not just someone else. I bet you banged a whole football team while I was away. Tell me, how does it feel? I'll tell you how it feels. It feels so damn good. Now I see why you'd rather mess around with Andrea than be home. <clears throat> oh, Madison. You should have told me this is what you wanted. Hmm? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm being a good husband and I'm saving this marriage. No, you've missed the point. I want a divorce. Get oh! <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous, Hunter. Four years we've been together and you have it in your mind exactly what I want. But you won't give it to me because you want me to suffer. You know, you keep acting like you're the victim in this when you were the one who forced me into this marriage. And now you want to... Break up with me and get away with it? That doesn't seem fair, enough, does it? You don't have to pay the alimony. Oh, well, thank you. You think this has all been about money, huh? But you've never cared to ask what I want? I texted you to sign the divorce papers, remember? Now get the hell off me! 
You can marry any girl you want. Just not me. Stay right there. That's it. I don't want you bringing a divorce up with me again. Andrea, I'm confused. You love Andrea, right? Why not divorce me and marry somebody that you're actually into? Or what, you're into me now? <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I only need you and your blood so Andrea can survive. Oh, and you were right about one thing, though. I do like to see you suffer. Honestly, Hunter, I can't do this anymore. Do we have to end it badly? I said, do not bring this up to me again. Get in there! Get out! Get in there! I'll give you three days, three days to think about what you did. You don't lock me in here? No, Hunter, Hunter, please, please, I'm gonna die in here. No, Hunter, please, you're killing me. Please, Hunter. No. Don't flatter yourself. I only need you and your blood so Andrea can survive. Hunter, I really shouldn't have fallen in love with you. Emergency alerts. A storm in the Central District this afternoon will bring over 50 millimeters of precipitation. Thunder and strong wind are also expected. Nah. That woman's tough as nails. There's no way she's gonna get frightened by the thunder. Driver, let's go. Thank you. Hunter! Hi. Have you had lunch yet? Um, no. I'm making up something. Mm. Trust me, you'll love it. I'm sure I will. If one day I'm gone, will you miss me? Will you miss me? <laughs> Hunter Williams, do you take Madison Evans to be your lawfully wedded wife? To live together in marriage? Hunter never drinks in front of me. Must be because of Madison.